Alright guys, uh, Good Marks Goods here. And uh, today I got this here tray to show you all. It's a pretty decent tray. Uh, a couple months back I made a video called um, Old Silver Plate vs. New. I believe it was the title. And it was a, it was a little ways away. And I took a um, modern silver plated tray. Well, what I thought was silver plate. And I was able to scrape it all off and uh, I took it to a coin shop in order for them to test the purity and see if they would make an, me an offer for uh, how much silver I was able to pull off of that tray. And uh, they told me that it, this that tray was not very pure at all. I recommend you guys watch that video. It was pretty interesting. I did a lot of work on it and spent hours. And now today I'm going to torture myself a little bit more. Uh, because today is, um, the second part of that video series, but this time it's old school. This is an old tray by, um, Pool. See, normally a tray like this would go for around 60 to $800, maybe even more, if, uh, they, if somebody liked the pattern. And it's Bristol by Pool. Definitely a very well-made piece. Look how ornate that the detailing is. But unfortunately, it was broken. It got broken upon delivery. Um, the Goodwills sometimes do not do a very good job of packaging their boxes. Especially when you get a lot of... Like, um, a large box they'll just throw it in and they damage this tray it's a quite tragic I have I believe I have the other part of the handle somewhere and um, the the original plan was to repair it but I have so much that I I need to I have so much broken silver plate that I'm meaning to repair I'm going to teach myself how to um, solder but it's it's a slow process, and uh, I just don't have that much time, free time to learn things like soldering. So I decided instead of keeping it around to um, to repair, which I probably should do because it is, this is a valuable tray. Don't get me wrong. It, instead, it's going to be a guinea pig today. Uh, I plan to take off all the silver off of it. Okay, so I did a quick uh, search for um, for pricing, and I could find only one person has this tray on eBay, and they want thirty dollars for it. Apparently, uh, I think that's a little cheap, especially if you have the only one on the line on the, of the same pattern. I like to go to replacements.com to get an idea of a retail value of um, of this of silver plate antiques and uh, in order to get a good number I'll take the uh, the replacements value because they sell they their store has lists um, the very 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 high end of a retail price range and I'll divide it by two or maybe even three in order to to come up with a reasonable value for a, for a tray like or um, an antique that you expect to be able to sell online. Uh, eBay is a much cheap, a softer market, or or um, things on eBay will sell uh, for cheaper than you would find on replacements.com. But they're a great resource to have an, a ballpark idea for the highest high range uh, retail prices that you would expect if you were to like appraise the item and and um, get like insurance insurance value on it or whatever so yeah the, one person wants a uh, thirty dollars for their tray on ebay and that was the only one i was able to find that's that's this exact tray there's not even one on replacements they sold out so i would say safe safely i think that this this thing this tray would sell for around 80 bucks eventually, is what I would be guessing. But anyway, like I said, uh, it's broken, and I'm not going to try to replace it. So, but do you all see, we got ourselves, um, 
once again, we got a bit of peeling uh, silver plate right here where where the break happened. So I thought to myself again, well, let's try and get all this silver plate off of this tray and see how much yield we get. I'm going to try to, to weigh the, the tray, see how much yield we get, and I'm going to take it to the coin shop and hopefully I'm going to get a better story a better offer for my silver this time all right uh, may the uh, torture ring commands so this is uh going a lot uh slower than the last one that i did the uh modern piece so, uh, first of all the the silver is much harder to peel off i guess it's it's a much it's a much better bound plate plating the the layer where the um modern one i was just able to peel off the entire tray pretty easily this one the silver is not very easy to scratch off i'm going to figure out a way to to um to do that i was thinking about cutting the tray and then that would give me kind of like an edge to work off of with the fracture but uh, once again this is was a very well ma made piece uh pool was a a very um it was a solid company that made this kind um wares probably pre 60s i would think is uh when they had their heyday and um I believe that they were um, they were one of the companies based in in uh, Taunton, Massachusetts, which was um, Taunton had a, a bunch of um, silver plate companies uh, based in, in the, that area. It seemed to be kind of like the mecca of uh, American silver plating, or one of them. So, yeah, this is going very very slowly. I have a, a small little bag. Of, a, of plating I was able to do with about an hour this is going to be much harder than the last time I did it but I'll keep going I dropped the, the tray on rocks a couple of times and I was losing plating but it gave me at least somewhere to 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 base it to start off with and um get get somewhere to go because you need to get a little bit of um you need to kind of like get your foot on the, in the door and in order to get a, like a grip on what on the plating or peel it off but yeah this is going very very slowly and I'll keep going but um I'm a little worried because I'm getting base metal off as well as the, the plating so we'll see how pure I get too all right, well, that's it that's It for um, this quick update. So I can, I can appear to get it to, um, to uh, come off in a, in a nice layer, but, uh, I appear to be able to, like, be able to scratch it off with the edge of a blade, and it comes off, like, in, like, almost as a dust. So I might be able to, I'm thinking what we'll be doing, I'm going to do this for the entire tray, get all this dust off, and and maybe melt it down into a button, and um, see what that kind of yields me. Because otherwise I, I don't know what else to, to do, because I, I hope I'm getting down, getting all the silver off, and, and what we're seeing is base metal right here. Well, I'll just play it by ear, but I think that's my best bet is to just keep um keep scratching off the silver. This is gonna take so long, but I I'm already I started this video knowing that this this would happen, so yeah, the silver does scra scrape off and I got all kinds of this dust here. I'd like to um see what happens just try not to inhale it and since uh covid is still around 
there's masks everywhere, so I, at least I have a mask, won't be, um, won't be inhaling this dust. Alright. Hey guys, uh, just a quick update on the progress here. Um, uh, I'm just scratching this, this thing with a, a blade and trying to cut off, scratch off the plate for about, I don't know, two or three hours and, and an evening after work, I find it kind of relaxing. I'm on day three now, so, um, listen to a couple podcasts while I do it. Right now I'm listening to, um, the book 1984 by Orwell. It's very interesting, um. Uh, very scary but um yeah so just what we're doing uh, most of it got got a bunch of dust silver dust uh, I hope it's pure I think it is because it looks like I'm not really getting through to the base metal here there's still some more silver left to scratch on it so um my yield is probably not going to be as high as it it would be if I used acid or something like that but I'm having a fun and uh, I wanted to know how much I can get from this method. This is the thing, um, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just kind of like understanding silver plate, doing experiments on it, trying to see what, what, what can work with extracting, what type of silver has the most silver plate on it, what the history of the pieces are, the, just like trying to understand, you know, we put the pieces of the puzzle together. And, um, broadcasting my thoughts and my progress to my channel. So, uh, that's, um, that's it for now. I'm about halfway done. A little bit less than halfway done with, um, with the plate. And I can't wait to, um, to see how much, uh, silver dust I have. And we can go from there. Well, I finally uh, finished this. Um, what I did is pretty similar to what I did with the other, the the modern steel um, piece. I took a knife, this blade, and I scraped off the silver as best as I could from the entire thing. Um, the sides, kind of like, kind of like, you think of it almost like a, a skin. And, uh, this knife was kind of like a paring knife. If you ever, <laughs> ever cut off, um, paired a apple skin off of an apple. Pretty similar to what I did with this thing. Um, just, uh, yeah, I straight up murdered it, um. Kind of look. You see the base metal through. Looks all scratched up. Um, now, now that I'm focusing in, zooming in, I can see that there's still some silver flakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get tissue paper or something and try to mop it up. But um. So it took me way too long to do this. Uh, I'm still experimenting with that, like understanding how how silver plate is feels and, and what works and what doesn't. I can honestly see a, a grindstone or something taking it off pretty efficiently. I'll look into that someday, like some kind of polish thing that you use to polish um, a piece. Maybe it. You'll be able to grind it off. The problem is that you don't want to get too much of the base metal, or um, or you'll be having to spend way um, more acid in order to refine it. But yeah, um, this is the first. I uh, weighed the bag; it's about thirty grams. That's silver. I I don't know how pure it is. Anyway.
I don't know how pure it is. Of course, there's going to be base metal in here, especially um, when I was uh, paring around the side. I'm going to get some base metal because uh, uh, the knife's going to dig into it. But um, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get it over to um, to some acid, and I'm going to try to re refine it as best as I can and uh, melt a little button with it. It's not going to be pure pure silver, but it's going to be cool. I'm going to uh, measure out how much I get and uh, get a yield like I did on the um, part one, which was um, silver-plated tray old versus young. Uh, this one is the old one. Uh, we'll see. But hopefully I can get at least 20 grams out of this. Because um, the bag is like 6 grams and uh, it weighed 30. So, yeah, that's it for now.